Carrie. I live in Florida, Jacksonville. I'm in the Navy. I fly helicopters. And this is my third time in the New York Encounter. I met the movement when I was in flight school in Pensacola. And I met it through a priest whom I had asked a very important question for me. And after he spent hours answering it for me, he invited me to school community. I walked in, there were three priests, two crazy girls, and their intensity of life was evident. Uh, and it left me speechless, which doesn't happen often. I went to dinner with them afterwards. The way that they looked at each other, the way they looked at me, the way that they were so serious about living every part of their life, not censoring anything, and finding in it a reason for knowing that the world is beautiful and that God is great was the turning point for me. I knew that I had found what I was hoping that existed in the church, existed in the world, and that friendship uh, just continued to grow, and I never wanted to be anywhere else. came to the New York Encounter for the first time in 2014 and you couldn't tear me away from the talk. It, every, I took so many notes, uh, my hand hurt, it, my head hurt, it was beautiful. And afterwards, my, the feeling I had uh, going home was so grateful that this exists. That what has been happening in my life, what's been changing my life, doesn't just exist in my head, but it exists in the real world, something that you can bump into when you're walking down the street in Manhattan. So. I had this uh, idea that someday, someday in the future I would volunteer. Um, but the next year came and I didn't, uh, mostly because I was afraid I didn't, want to, I didn't want to miss anything beautiful. And so I didn't volunteer. Uh, and once again, it was an amazing experience and I was so grateful, but then I felt a little bit guilty that I should volunteer. Uh, but then again, this year I wouldn't have done it except that a friend asked me, he said, will you volunteer with me? And I didn't have any reason to say no, and I had all the reasons to say yes, so I did. And as it turned out, my friends weren't going to come, a lot of them weren't coming, and so I thought, oh perfect, I won't have to miss anything beautiful, it'll be great. And then we had uh, the pre-New York Encounter phone conference with all the volunteers, and Father Jose said that the claim of the volunteers is to verify whether or not it's possible to live the fullness of life in everything, the nitty gritty of life is what he calls it. And if that is possible to do with everything that's given, not just what you choose. And that was a big correction for me and it was helpful. And since then I've been the coordinator of the special teams. So we are the volunteers for the volunteers. <laughs> Our only job is to help the volunteers do their jobs. And it's been really, really beautiful. Um, I had, I keep having, instances where I want to send my, my people like, oh, you're not doing anything right now? Like, go enjoy the New York encounter. You know, have the same experience that I had. And so many times they, they say, no, like, I'm, I'll stay. I'll stay with you guys. And this has been such an amazing witness to me that, that what they find here, volunteering, moving chairs, being at people's beck and call, this is for them what's been beautiful. And it's helped me see that it's beautiful for me too.